Welcome to the video for Information Governance. Today we will show how IT and compliance work together to develop and implement policies across systems. We'll start with Isaiah reviewing the information protection policies in Office 365, where he has set up a set of labels for Innovate containing the various protection measures decided upon by the compliance team. These security labels are then mapped to extended ECM security clearance so that content ingested receives an appropriate security clearance level and then extended ECM takes over the life cycle by storing content neutrally and allowing the appropriate labels to be applied when users retrieve the content. This gives Innovate control over the protections for the long term of the life cycle. Anne is working with documents associated to a subsidiary that Innovate is spinning off, and these are protected by rights management. She uses the unified labeling client in Microsoft Word and can choose a sensitivity label from the policies that Isaiah published. Anne has full rights to top secret documents and can see the functions she can perform. As she saves the content back to extended ECM, the system reads the label, uses the SDK to remove protection, and apply the appropriate security clearance. This allows the system to index and store content neutrally. Authorized users like Anne can then update the security clearance, or this can be automated, thus applying a new label with associated protections the next time it is accessed. Innovate can also use security clearance to restrict what can be shared externally and prevent sharing of content above a certain level, but rest assured that if content is shared, the appropriate protections are set. This integration fulfills the need to protect content inside and outside the organization according to the life cycle. When Anne returns to extended ECM, she sees the content was put on hold automatically in the background, so inspects the metadata to see the hold was applied to prevent deletion of IP-related documents. She checks the security clearance and two retention policies that were automatically applied. The primary retention is a seven-year retention bound to the finalization of the document, and the second schedule has two stages to automate rendering to long-term preservation format as well as redaction if required, followed by a review period of one year. This schedule will simply be removed when complete and the primary schedule will live on. There is no limit to the schedules and stages available to innovate. Anne is now back at a record center, which is from a pre-configured business scenario included with extended ECM, easily extensible, showing details about the physical and electronic records. Anne does have overarching governance responsibilities for all of Innovate's systems, and has been asked to set up a separate cloud-based SaaS system for Innovate subsidiary. Core content will be used for this purpose, and Anne can manage all of Innovate's policies from the central administration page. After seeing a quick overview of the status, she goes to the Systems tab to import the retentions and holds from extended ECM. All of these systems are connected, which allows Anne to take the approved and in-use retention policies and holds from extended ECM to the cloud to be used in other applications. The systems represented include their Compliance Hub to reach file systems in Office 365, Core Content, Documentum, Info Archive, and of course extended ECM. As she is importing the policies, the system is preparing to make them available to be used in other systems. She takes a look at the holds that were imported and then skips over to the retention policies where she will go to that seven-year policy and make it available to other systems. She can add as many system types and systems as is required and configured for use, but for now, she will simply make it available to the core content subscription that o Innovate has set up for its subsidiary. She could see that the ADYE07 retention is set up and in use for Content Suite, in our case Extended ECM, as well as the Core Content OT2 system. Core Content utilizes document types for determining retention, so Anne sets up the Corporate Policy document type to have the ADYE07 retention schedule. All documents of type Corporate Policy that are added to the system will receive this retention schedule. In order to test this, she will add some content and check the metadata. She jumps over to her core content homepage, which uses a familiar look and feel, and she browses to the corporate policies area. Within this area, she drags in her documents with options to add more, and then she sees the corporate policy document type predefined for her. If there were multiple, she would choose the appropriate one. Now, when the documents are added, she takes a quick look at the metadata applied and we'll see the policy applied as expected. 
What has just been shown is the integration of rights management with extended ECM to protect content inside and outside the organization, multiple retention schedules and objects that can preserve content to an immutable state and manage different schedules, the easy to configure record center and importing retentions and holds from an established content system to the cloud and other on-prem systems. Thank you for watching.